Sarawak has detected six COVID-19 cases involving the Omicron subvariant XBB116, also known as Acturus. This was disclosed in a report to Sarawak Disaster Management Committee Chairman Dato Amar Douglas Unga Ambas earlier today. The report by Professor Dr. David Pereira, Director of University Malaya Sarawak's Institute of Health and Community Medicine, advised the public to be aware of heightened risk of infection in the state. He added that Omicron remains the dominant circulating variant, with several different XBB1 subvariants derived from it. The Arcturus variant has been responsible for the recent surge of cases in India and other countries. The World Health Organization also categorized Arcturus as a variant under monitoring due to its potential for increased infectivity and pathogenicity. What do we know about the Arcturus subvariant that is now present in Malaysia? Molecular virologist Dr. Vinod Balasubramaniam breaks down the symptoms of this subvariant and how it differs from its predecessors. When you look at the XBB116 or Arcturus subvariant right it's basically a mutated cousin of the omicron and was first detected in india um, around january this year right uh, it's actually from the parental xbb strain which caused um, you know cases to quadruple in just one month in some nations right a couple of months ago right so it has an additional mutation in the spike protein you know which shows increased infectivity as well as potential increased pathogenicity that means it's more virulent Right? And there are also emerging data from Japan which shows that this subvariant could be 1.2 times uh, much, much more infectious than the previous Kraken XBB15 strain. Right? So as of now, it's the most transmissible strain that we have. Right? The good news is that um, you know, it has not shown severity in terms of severe symptoms or uh, hospitalization or increase in mortality in general part of the population which is currently it's circulating it means also means that our previous protection from vaccines or natural infection is still holding up yeah so typically you know when you look at you know omicron subvariant symptoms it will include high fever cough cold loss of sense and taste of smell now this new actual subvariant has got a new peculiar symptom where you know, the doctors around the world, especially in India, when where it first broke the, uh, you know, the infection, they are looking at um, conjunctivitis so, as a symptom, especially in uh, pediatric population, in kids, children, right? They're battling itchy conjunctivitis, sticky eyes, a symptom that we have not witnessed in earlier COVID waves. That's, that's the, you know, difference in terms of symptoms. As the virus continues to mutate, Dr. Vinod advised the public to remain vigilant, especially during the Hari Raya Idol Fitri season. Personal protection with uh, well-fitted N95 masks still an extremely important option to reduce the exposure to Omicron, right? But if you ask me, the safest plan is that if you're symptomatic, you stay at home, which is not going to happen because of the festivities, you know, people go around, people visit. And so ideally, you would like to look for well-ventilated areas when you're out, right? Open windows, ventilate your home, right? Especially during visits, when people come to visit, right? Practice proper hand hygiene, proper cough etiquette, right? And for those who are vulnerable to severe infection or having weakened immune response or having been shielded from community newborns, uh, you know, and if you're surrounding these people, a booster dose with the latest vaccines is strongly recommended.